All right, let's find the outside surface area and the volume of the sphere has a radius r. All right, so we can probably look up the surface area of a sphere and the volume of a sphere. Uh, but a sphere could be thought of as taking a line and rotating it about a you know rotating axis. So let's use a theorem of Pappas and Goldenus to find this. And let's start with surface area. I would not try to do both of these at the same time. I would, I would think of these as two separate, completely separate problems. First, let's find the surface area. Then we'll, you know, forget that. And then we'll find the volume. All right, so the surface area. I, I would, and you could think about this a number of different ways, vertically or horizontally. I would think about this as taking a semicircle and rotating it a full... 360, right? A full 2 pi. All right, so the surface area is theta RL. All right, surface area is theta RL. The theta, this goes a full 2 pi. The R not, is not the radius, right? The R is the perpendicular distance from the rotating axis to the centroid of that line. Uh, let, let me come back to that. All right. The line, what is the line? The, this line, what is the length of this line? Well, you could, you know, think a number of different ways. I like to think of it as a half of a circle. Uh, a circle would be 2 pi r, and so divided by 2, so pi r. All right, so let's, let's call this pi r is the length, whoops, is the length of that line. Now let's think about this r. It's not the radius. It is the distance from here to the centroid. Now, is the centroid right here? No, 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 no. Right? The centroid of that line is somewhere right here. Why Why right there? Well, it's not exactly true, but I like to think there's the same amount of line to the left and to the right, but there also needs to be the same amount of line above and below. Uh, so, so it is not right here because there, there'd be way too much line below and no line above. Um, so it's hard to think about, but the centroid of an arc is right there. We have it on our formula sheet, the centroid moment of inertia formula sheet. Remember, these two are lines. The other 6, 10, 12, I don't know, are areas. And we want the centroid of the line. The centroid of this line is 2 pi r away from here. Two, sorry, 2r over pi. Sorry, 2r over pi. So here we go. This is 2r over pi. 2r over pi. All right. And so that is our surface area. Uh, that, that pi, that goes, let's see. I've got 4, and I've got a pi and r squared. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Alexa told me that's true. That is the surface area of a sphere, and we found it using the theorem of Pappas and Goldenus. All right, let me draw a new diagram, a new figure to find the volume. Let me draw a new figure to find the volume because the volume is created by not taking that line, but taking that area and rotating it a full 2 pi, right? So this would be, let's see, volume is theta r a. Volume is 2 pi. r, I'm going to come back to, a is, I'd say this is half of a um, pi r squared, half of a circle. The whole circle would be pi r squared, and this is half of that. Now r, first of all, r is not the radius. r is the distance from this rotating axis to the centroid right here. And it is not the same one right here. You might think, it is it 2r over pi? No, let's go back and look at our uh, centroid handout. The centroid of an area is different than the centroid of an arc. I, I think if we really thought about that, it would, it'd make more, it would make sense um, that it's a little bit lower because this, there's a lot more area down here than up here. If it's just a thin line, um, then there's, you know, almost the same. Uh, but, but anyway, this is not 2r over pi. It's 4r over 3 pi. 4r 
over 3 pi. 4r over 3 pi. So let me go back to our blank notes. This is 4r over 3 pi. And then that's that's it. So here's the math. Let's see. That cancels out the 2 with the 2. 4 thirds pi r cubed. And that is what I could look up to find the volume of a sphere. So, so we, we did that using the theorem of Pappas and Goldness. So the theorem of Pappas and Goldness is probably overkill right here, but we're looking at very, very simple shapes. Uh, the more complex it gets, then the more we will definitely need to use. Theta RL is the surface area. Theta RA is the volume. All right.